Sophia Sanabria, and I am truly excited, grateful, and truly honored to be this week's video's host on SSSF TV. A little bit about myself is that I am an actress, singer, and dancer. So this week's video, we're going to be talking about pride flags. Well, there are many different types of pride flags for many different identities, but there is that one pride flag that rules them all. The most recognizable pride flag. The rainbow pride flag. <laughs> In a recent episode, there was a mentioning of a man named Harvey Milk, the first gay man ever elected in public office in the USA. Well, he comes up in this week's video too. So apparently he challenged a man named Gilbert Baker to create a flag to symbolize the pride of the gay community. Baker was a military veteran who had taught himself to sue. He thought about it and eventually decided to draw inspiration from, uh, as a musical theater geek, this is awesome to hear, Judy Garland's Somewhere Over the Rainbow. <laughs> creating what would have become to be the first ever rainbow pride flag. However, it's probably not quite the one you're familiar with. So, in this next segment, I'm gonna be talking about the different colors and what they represent. So, hot pink equals sex, red equals life, orange equals healing, yellow equals sunlight, green, nature, turquoise, magic, and or art, indigo, serenity, violet equals spirit. So this is from 1978 through 1999's Pride Flag. After the assassination of Harvey Milk, many wanted the Pride Flag he commissioned to commemorate his accomplishments for the community and for their personal support. The demand was greater than the available fabric, so the Paramount Flag Company began selling this version of the flag, as did Gilbert Baker, who had trouble getting hot pink fabric. Traditional Gay Pride Flag this is the most familiar flag. So in 1979, the community landed on this six color version, which was hung from lampposts in San Francisco. Numerous complications over having an odd number of colors led to turquoise being dropped out, at least according to reports. Philadelphia People of Color Inclusive Flag. Noting that queer people of color are often not fully included in the LGBT community, the city of Philadelphia added two colors black and brown, to the pride flag in their honor. The city had previously faced accusations of racial discrimination in its gay bars, which led to 11 queer nightlife venues to take anti-racism training. How cool is that? Many white men were outraged by the flag, claiming that the rainbow includes all skin colors. But with a star like Lena Waithe, of course, Donning it at the Met Gala, it seems the design is definitely here to stay. Progress Pride Flag The new flag seeks to take Philadelphia's inclusive approach a step further. Daniel Quasar, who identifies as queer and non-binary, designed this flag. The white, pink, and light blue reflect the colors of the transgender flag, while the brown and black stripes represent people of color and those lost to AIDS. When the pride flag was recreated in the last year to include both black brown stripes as well as the trans stripes included this year, I wanted to see if there could be a bit more of an emphasis in the design of the flag to give it more meaning, said Daniel. Transgender flag. Monica Helms, a trans woman, designed this flag in 1999, and it was first flown at a pride parade in Phoenix a year later. The light blue is a traditional color for baby boys, pink is for girls, and the white is in the middle for those who are transitioning, those who feel they have a neutral gender or no gender, and those who are intersexed, Helms noted. The pattern is such that no matter which way you fly it, it will always be correct. This symbolizes us trying to find correctness in our own lives. The bisexual flag. Designed by Michael Page, the flag brings visibility to the bisexual community, showing the overlap of the stereotypical colors for boys and girls. The flag was inspired by an older symbol of bisexuality, the biangles, two overlapping pink and dark blue triangles. Pansexual pride. Created on the web in 2010, this flag has colors that represent pansexuality's interest in all genders as partners. The pink represents women, yellow non-binary and gender non-conforming people, and the blue is for men. So there you have them folks. There have been many variations of the pride flag over the years. 
Like any living piece of history, it will continue to evolve and celebrate the love and acceptance that is in the LGBTQ community. I can't wait to see what comes next. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give this channel a like and a follow on all of their social media channels and YouTube channels, any channel. <laughs> they most definitely appreciate your support and I can't wait to see you next time.